in this case, with a weapon, including your bow, then you could be prosecuted for a criminal use of a weapon. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. And there are federal laws regarding restrictions for firearms when you have a protection order in place. Okay. Do you have any firearms? No, sir. Okay. I would not have any during this next year while you're under this restraining order. Okay. Okay. What are your questions, Mr. Moore? Why can you do so much for a person that they do this to you? Hmm? I'm sorry. I didn't understand your question. I said, why can you do so much for a person that they just do this to you? Okay. Well, <laughs> Psycho talk. The more you're getting into more questions about why do relationships go bad, and sometimes they just do. Okay, that, nothing that requires two people to start dating and stay together. Dating is a way to figure out if you're compatible, and sometimes you figure out you're not compatible. Okay, and then when the breakup happens, you have to move on, and it's not easy, but you move on. Mr. Moore, it is time for you to move on, okay? Oh, I moved on. Okay. Do you have any other questions, Mr. Moore? No, not really. To be honest, am I allowed to leave now? I am signing the order. Because I really, after I got out of jail, I told myself I wasn't going to look at her again, and now I'm looking at her. I'm just ready to leave. Stop. Okay, well. Mr. Moore, please take this serious. I am taking it serious. Okay. And allow this to relationship to be completely over and move on. Okay? Yeah, I got a little work. Okay, do you have any other questions? He's crazy. Do you have any more questions? Um, no. Okay. okay. I have a question. Am I still allowed to go eat at TK's? Just like without Austin. That won't like interfere with anything, will it? Okay, Miss Casey, you don't see her as a threat? No, you're not. Okay, yes, you can continue to go to TK's. Okay, well, because I have been staying away with all this and I've been really craving TK's, so. Yeah, all right, I'll see you guys there. Three zero three and zero three zero four. Each of them similarly allege that on or about January eleventh, twenty twenty four, in Jefferson County, Texas, you committed the third degree felonies of it says deadly conduct, discharging a firearm at or in the direction of others, namely a vehicle. All right, you are Mr. Bennett. Great. Okay. And uh, Mr. Dusler is here representing you. And can do we need a formal reading of these indictments or summary as the court just gave? Is that sufficient? Yes, sufficient. These are third degree felonies, Mr. Bennett, which mean if convicted, you face no less than two, no more than 10 years confinement in prison in each case. And you can also be fined up to $10,000. You understand the punishment range applicable in each of these cases. Right. Agreements have been reached where you would be placed on deferred or unadjudicated probation on each case. Is that right, everybody? Yes. Which will be up, uh, which can be up to 10 years in length find five hundred dollars these would run concurrently do you understand right. if i follow this agreement in each case you have no right of appeal do you understand right how do you plead in each of these cases guilty or not guilty that you, yes. how do you plead in each case, yes. guilty or not guilty? I'm sorry, guilty? Great. Are you pleading guilty in each case voluntarily on your own free will and because you are guilty? Yes, I am. 
I'm oh, sorry. Yes, so. Yes, you are. Right. Yes. Stand by. I show you what's marked in each case as states exhibit one. Did you sign those documents? Volun Great. Voluntarily. Great. Did you understand them, discuss them with your attorney, or the contents all true and correct? Yes. Yeah, correct. States Exhibit 1 is tendered into evidence in each of these cases. No objection. Without objection, admitted. Among other things, this states you are mentally competent to enter your guilty pleas, which are freely and voluntarily made. You know what you've been charged with. The indictment's been read to you. You've read them. You are guilty of the crime charged in any lesser included offenses. You are giving up your rights to a jury trial and the right to the appearance, confrontation, cross-examination of witnesses. You are totally satisfied with the representation provided by your lawyer. All of this is true. It states, so help you God, is that so? Sure. States Exhibit 1 is made a part of the record for all purposes. Pre-sentence reports waived? Yes, sir. Stand by, please. All right, I, I'm looking at this probable cause affidavit yes, uh, and what happened here. Somebody saw you in my car. Well, so you quite naturally that. then fired 51 rounds at other people. Oh, was that to me? You didn't even know who you were shooting at, did you? Yes, I did. Well, that's I not what some, these people say. I these people. A, I sent a run towards my car and I destroyed my car. See, At what? Right. Let's see. Let's see. You, uh, Waji Hamad, let me speak. Waji Hamad, who owns the last call liquor, it was struck by several bullets. He wanted to file charges. Uh, were you shooting at last call liquor for some Great. reason? Huh? Great. Well, that's what got struck by your wild bullet fire. Man, I've got hit in the midst of. Juan Rojas, whose passenger car was struck by several bullets coming from Bennett, he wanted to file charges against you as well. Were you shooting Juan Rojas for some reason? Incorrect. You shot at it. It hit his passenger vehicle. I wasn't trying to. Huh? My bullets, my bullets went straight. Oh, you don't think that can happen when you fire 51 bullets? Right. That's what happened. What do you think? Is that too, Are you watching movies? I mean, 51 bullets. What were you firing from? What kind of weapon was it, and what was the magazine? Block 45. And How I many had... times did you reload? Three times. Sir? Three times. You, you reloaded three times. Who in particular were you shooting at that you mi obviously missed? Who, who were you shooting at in particular? It's not supposed to happen in a, in a city. They shouldn't be shooting at you, and you shouldn't be firing 51 rounds at different people who weren't involved. I was doing what I had to do to take my time. If you, if you was in that situation, you would have done the same thing. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I, you're incorrect. I would be responsible in what I'm shooting at. Great. Right. If you would have killed anybody, you know, you'd have been charged with murder. Correct. In spite of what your intentions may have been. Correct. Okay. Uh, what were these, what was someone shooting at you for? What did they, why were they shooting at you? What provoked this? You have no clue? For no reason? Is that what you're telling me? For no reason somebody just started shooting at you unprovoked? I know it can happen, but that's not what normally happens in this courtroom. Can you go ask them? I'm sorry? You can go ask them. Are you being a smart aleck to me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying... Who is it? I, I don't Who know is where... it? Who is it? Who is that person you want me to go ask? What's their name? So why would you say something like that to me? Go ask them. That's just being a smart aleck. Is that your nature? You're reckless. Is that your nature to be a smart aleck? Just That's that. rude in this courtroom. That's rude. Have you ever been arrested before? Great. Is that yes? 
Well, I'm asking you a question. It's, I'm not making a statement. Or, or have you been arrested before? Yeah. How many times? What's on? For what? This. This. this? I'm not talking about this event. No. For shooting at, at another time? No. Correct. Uh, do you want to go out there and sit in the cell for a little while? What were you arrested for, is my question. Why am I having to pull this out like yeah, I'm a no, dentist pulling your teeth out? Do you have any other arrests oh, besides no. this? That's what I'm asking. You've never been arrested before other than this, no, right? First offense. I'm not understanding why I'm getting 10 years probation. Huh? Uh, this is my first offense, so I'm not understanding why I got 10 years probation. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You're not going to get 10 years deferred probation with me. We're setting this for trial. We'll let a jury decide your fate. That's what happens when you're indecisive. These are all uh, situations when you plead guilty, you have to convince me that that's what you want to do. Mr. Dusler, we're setting this for trial. Uh, do you want a, him to represent you at trial? Are you a public defender on this? Yes. You don't even have a job? Great. I wind up breaking my leg. I broke my feet with my school meal. When? Um, like three months ago. Okay, before that, what you what did you do for work? Landscaping. How much did you make for landscaping? How how long were you a landscaper? Seven months. Before that, what did you do? I was working at Sonic. At Sonic. Um checkers uh stuff like that just really fast food i wasn't really working too much i was trying to get into the plan but you know that's the hit or miss well you won't get in with this over your head uh we're going to set this for trial and we'll let a jury decide by the way juries cannot give deferred or unadjudicated probation if it's probation you're convicted for the rest of your life for a felony if they give you probation and you're looking at up to 10 years on each case, but it would be for a jury. Jury can't give you deferred or unadjudicated probation. You can only get this from the court. And you're and I'm not set, I'm not accepting so, his pleas in so, the manner he has presented to me. So we're going to go to trial. So, Mr. Deusner can continue to represent you. He's a fine lawyer. Place. Is that what you want to do? Or we can replace him and get somebody on the trial docket wheel. If you wanted to get the results, we're going to get the place in a different Mr. Bennett, you and I have gone over this at length and while we feel that 10 years is a long time to be on probation, you understand that the, the court was going to cut you a break by giving you deferred adjudication. Also, I can shorten it by a third, but uh, yeah. for people who do, exactly. uh, which I but do every day. Since you've never been on but probation. Before. That's not going to be applicable in this case. Since you've never been on probation before, they were, the district attorney and the court were going to cut you a break and offer you deferred adjudication. You may not like the length of the term of probation, but that's generally what the judge is in the place to sell it. Yeah, I mean, it just should have been done a long time ago. And, and, before and it, we it, come up here, and that's uh, so. Do you want to keep him for trial or not? Yes or no? You want to replace me and let him get a different lawyer? You can get a tool. Mm -hmm. it. it's, it's your option. He's a good lawyer. There is no answer. You will, under the rules, you will be representing and we'll set these for trial. Get a uh, resetting from that lady and we're going to try this one. Judge, I think he's responding now. I really just got to think about it. There's, there's a lot.